Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas day 20. I can't believe that it's like the 20th. I just wanted to like take a little moment, just like pause a bit. I'm a little tired this morning. Um, I got up super early. I forgot that the sun doesn't come up forever, but I was like, I want to have the tea ball from Tea Thoughts in the moonlight. And then I checked the temperature and I was like, it's way too cold. I don't want to go out there. <laughs> so I went to my sunroom so that I could actually enjoy the moonlight and the, the darkness and stuff. So it was, it was nice and relaxing, but kind of tired. But I'd like to open the advance so that we can see what we have and see if we can have a morning cup because, yeah, clearly I need to wake up or go have a nap. <laughs> okay, I'm snuggled in my robe, so please excuse. <laughs> uh, let's start day 20 with the English tea shop advance gifted to me by my sweet friend, Danny. 20. Spooky Spice. Such an odd name for a Christmas advent. <laughs> Organic green tea with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and pepper. I think we've had this one before. Or at least smelt it, but I think we've had this one. Okay. In on the red. <laughs> Let's go with T and Me Blogs Advent. And day 20 is right there on the front. Okay. All right. So this is the Advent. It's a 25. It's the only 25 day Advent that I have. It's from Danielle from T and Me Blog. All the information, of course, is linked in the description down below. Ooh. Um, it's another one from Elevation Tea Company, and this is Apple Royabus. I didn't try the other one yet, so we are going to make sure that we get this. The, give this one a go today. If not this flavor, maybe the other flavor that they have. So... Exciting. Okay, up next is the Tea Thoughts Advent Counter. This is a 12 day countdown and we're doing it every other day. So today is day 20, which means that we're opening the 10th one here. So pretty. Nazanin is the owner of Tea Thoughts. And if you've been with me the whole time, you're probably like, Jan, you don't have to keep telling us that. But for anybody new that's just joining us, she created this wrapping paper, designed it. Oh, jeez. That's the one that I have like a necklace of. So beautiful. And we have a lovely green box. Can I see first? Can I see? Packaging. Okay. It's one of her creations. This is like the pomegranate. That's so cute. So Nazanin actually, um, she does pottery as well. And this is one of them. So cute. Let's see what she says. So there's a book and in the book, she tells us, you know, what her thoughts are on different things. Day 10, pomegranate dish. If you happen to be opening this on the 21st, learn about Shab, Shab Yalada, the Persian winter solstice celebration. I made these pomegranate dishes for it. Use it to hold small things or tea. That's so sweet. I love it when she like intertwines like 
her own things, you know, things that like that she's made and her own life and her own history. And, and I just, I love it all. Like, it's just, it's just so sweet. So yeah, I'm definitely going to, I know it's not the 21st, but I'm going to be looking that up. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nazanin. That's spectacular. I love, I love learning. Especially about other people's, you know, cultures and history and, you know, all the goodness. So, thank you. Let's grab another one. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> we are destroying this one. All right. Day 20. Oh, day 20. It's already half open from other shenanigans. What do we got? Oof. Dejarlene number 37, an Indian black tea. Lovely. Okay. And while we're here, let's chat about the Brucanness box, whatever we want to call it. It's the giveaway box for Vlogmas 2020. And it's pretty simple. The directions are all down below in the description, but basically you subscribe, you comment, and you know, extra karma points for sharing my videos. Make sure you give them a thumbs up because that helps my videos and it encourages me to put more in the box. <laughs> so first up, we have the Brew Kindness sticker that I created. And we have the Bird and Blend, Coffee Pu'er, Dessert by Deb, Butter Toffee Cream. We added in some Playa Peach, Passion Fruit, Passion Fruit, Angry Alpaca, some Bahama Mama, Whole package of Rare Earl Grey sample packs. And Erica had suggested, because I've been asking for suggestions on what you guys would like in this box, and Erica suggested holiday teas. So I don't have a whole package of holiday teas. However, I do have, let's see, I have some different um, tea bags. So I will include those as well. And this one is cookies and cream from Tetley, some different ones. So I thought that these would be fun to discover. And while we're at it, Aries Chicky had suggested that I include my favorites, which I mean, clearly I have been. <laughs> But Paris is definitely one of my favorites, and I buy this loose leaf in a giant vat of sorts. So, but I happen to have a sample of a tea bag. So I also included a few other Harris one. Par also included a few other Hardy and Sons. So those are going in the box as well. There we go. We're getting a pretty stuff full, especially for starting late. There we go. Okay. Uh, open the others. All right, up next is AC Perch, and it's day 20 right there. Right? Yes. <laughs> this one smells like the whole thing smells so good. Oh. You can't smell that. <laughs> this is what it says. Let's uh, check the book. All right, this is what the book says. Perch's white Christmas tea has a nice harmonious taste of apple, cinnamon, orange, coconut, and clove buds. So the ingredients are white tea from China, apple, cinnamon, orange peel, coconut pieces, clove buds, natural orange flavoring, cinnamon flavoring, and clove flavoring. It smells so good. Very nice. Up next is David's Tea, 24 Days of Matcha. Day 20 is way at the bottom. I feel like I'm losing my voice. Ah, it's a matcha. Oh, 
think it says mango. Ow. Mango matcha. Hmm. And last but not least, we have the Bird and Blend Day 20. Day 20, right down in the corner, right on top of 2020. Oh, and there's a big mug. Very nice. Oh, I thought it was a cat, but I think that's a dog. Oh, there's that door. <laughs> that's funny that it fell all the way down to the bottom. Oh. What do we got? Gingerbread chai. Award-winning spiced gingerbread chai tea. Excellent. Okay, so a lot of people comment about the teapots. So I thought I would maybe show you some of them because there's some new ones here. Um, these glass doors are not my friend. But um, yeah, let's start at the top. So right up at the top, I have my collection of enamelware teapots. These are actually ones that I don't usually, don't typically use. Some of them are okay to use, some of them are not. Um, I love this here one with this shape. I like the dark blue. Let's see. This shape, I, I, I guess I love all the shapes. So a lot of them are made in Poland. Let's see, what do we got here? This is one of my favorites. I just love this one. I love the shape. I love the color. I love all of it. This is a Poland one. Yep. Made in Poland. And it's like, it has a hinge here. And it's white on the inside. I do actually like it when they have like little, uh, wear marks and use and that you can see that they were used and loved. This one is not my favorite shape, but still cute. I like that it's red. Japan. And this one doesn't have a hinge either. It's just sitting on there. I can't. I can't get the other ones. I'm gonna have to get Jeanette to help sometime. But, yeah. So that's a small portion of the teapots to show you. And of course, that clock's wrong. All right, uh, timer is going off. Our tea is ready, so let's try it. Mm. Yes, that is the perfect way to start the morning. A great black tea. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna go finish that and then I have to run some errands, so. Okay, so back in my robe because I'm just chilly and it's cozy. <laughs> But I want to make the doopy chai. And this one actually gives us directions on how to do it in the microwave. So we're going to attempt that. So it says to add tea bag and spices from the outer envelope into the cup. Add room temperature water, cold milk, heat in a microwave to near boiling water or to near boiling, which is around two minutes. 
let it steep for five minutes, squeeze the tea bag to re-extract all nutrients and flavor, then discard. Add sweetener if desired, stir and enjoy. So we're gonna try it their way. Usually I would love a stovetop, but this sounds super quick and easy and might be perfect for like, you know, when you're at work and stuff and you just want something easy. So let's do it this way. Okay, yeah, that's not bad for like, you know, microwave. The spices are really good. I would have liked to uh, it have been stronger. But that is a very nice cup of chai. I, I'm happy with that. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go enjoy this and um, yeah. I don't know, we'll see what we get up to. Kind of just lazing around and relaxing, so. Mm. Gary, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? So handsome. Um, so we're day 20. Day 20. We're in the Friends event calendar. Um, but before we do that, I want to say thank you to Sarah for sending me the recipe for the uh, it's French bread with cream cheese and olives. I love olives and Jan cannot stand them. So <laughs> when I make it, I will have an entire loaf of French bread and olives to myself, which is awesome. Thank you. Yes, that's spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Story time with Jeanette. Mm -hmm. Day 20. What's on that envelope? Um, it's Monica Santa and Superman, Joey and Santa Chandler. Nice. From the Holiday Armadillo episode. Nice. And these are more of the cards that kind of look like I don't know. Baseball cards? Trading cards. Well, baseball cards don't have rounded corners. Oh. Or they didn't. Maybe they do now. I don't know. They didn't 30 years ago. Uh, yeah. So. so this one is from season two, episode six. The one with the baby on the bus. It's Phoebe singing a song about the shower. Hey, Rach, want to hear the new song I'm thinking of singing this afternoon? I wrote it in the morning in the shower. Okay. And then she sings, and I'm not going to sing, but you just imagine her singing. I'm in the shower, and I'm writing a song. Stop me if you've heard it. My skin is soapy, and my hair is wet, and Tigran spelled backwards is Nurgit. Lather, rinse, repeat, and lather, rinse, repeat, and lather, rinse, repeat as needed. <laughs> that was more like a spoken word, but anyway. <laughs> Um, this one has Joey wearing all of Chandler's clothes and he starts doing lunges in them and Ross and Chandler are in suits. It is, can we see? Season three, episode two, the one where no one's ready. And Joey says, okay, buddy boy, here it is. You hide my clothes. I'm wearing everything you own. And Chandler says, oh my god, that is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. Look at me, I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? Maybe if I wasn't going commando. And that's when he starts doing the lunges. Can we see the back? Oh, neat. And this one is from one of the flashback episodes from them in high school. Chandler's got the flock of seagulls 
haircut and Ross has his hair and mustache. So this is season five, episode eight, the one with all the Thanksgivings. <laughs> That's cute. What are you going to do with them? I have no idea. <laughs> Those are kind of different than the other stuff. Some of the stuff's been like useful, like the yeah. post-it notes and like the buttons. Well, I guess. Yeah. I guess it depends on. Your definition of useful? Right. Like, yeah. yeah. Maybe to some people a button wouldn't be useful. But. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Rachel's got her old nose in this picture. <laughs> That's anyway. awful. It was part of the story. Yeah. That's why it's yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, only four days left. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's I wonder what the last four are going to be. I wonder what the last one is going to be. Yeah. Is the last one a big one? No. Hmm. It's got a lobster on it. Yeah. Neat. Are you wearing my shirt? No. I'm wearing my shirt. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Me and my shirt are going <laughs> to go over there now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you've never made a video before. I know. <laughs> All right, so what happened this afternoon was that um, friends dropped off gifts, and this was one of them. I thought you guys could appreciate this. It says, goodbye 2020, and it's a chocolate-shaped toilet. <laughs> Flush it away. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So while that was happening this afternoon, I had, what did I have? I had a pot of the AC purchase today and it was the, no? Something okay. about Yule. Oh, it was their Christmas tea. Yeah. Yeah. It smells like Christmas, doesn't it? Ooh, the cloves in that. Yeah, it's, it was really mm. good. Yeah. I made it a little bit too weak, but it was, it was very nice. I enjoyed that. All right. So now what we have is I wanted to taste so I, I want to have some chips, <laughs> but then I also want to have some sweet things. Yes, what tea pairs with a uh, hint of spicy queso Tostitos? <laughs> Are we doing a tea pairing? Yes. No? Yes. Okay. It's Bird and Blends, Mr. Frosty. These are my chips of choice. They're so good. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> and I think that they're going to pair lovely, lovely <laughs> with this. Look, it's like purple. Isn't that fun? And it's called Mr. Frosty. Snow cones and slushy ice blasts all around. It's like, yeah. It's amazing. Tonight, come on. Okay, I'm gonna drop this. It smells like purple. Right? Mm. Oh! Isn't that incredible? What am I, what, what's in it? Right? Yeah. It's like a blue snow cone. No, not mm, no, not quite. Let me a purple snow cone. <laughs> the blue one's blue raspberry. Uh huh. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. it's different. You want to taste it again? No, I'm good. So good. Um, what is in it? White tea, apple pieces, rose hip, blue pea flowers, ja Chinese jasmine, silver needle. White spearmint. tea, cloves, spearmint, orange peel, stevia, and natural flavoring. Mm, it's very good. The spearmint is what I'm getting on the, oh, yeah. on the back end. Yeah. Yes, you're completely right. Now that's all I can taste is spearmint. Spearmint and queso. Oh. Together at last. Yes, we're going to love it. 
All right, so now we each have tea. And Jeanette chose mince pie from Burn Blend. But because I already had a package, I'm gonna put this here sample one in the box for the giveaway. So I made her a tea from a package I already had. She had not tasted yet. So here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I can smell the almond. Yeah. I think there's almond in it. Uh, black tea, cinnamon, almond pieces, orange peel, pomegranate flavors, or flowers, and natural flavoring. That's nice. Mm. I almost feel like it could be stronger, though. Oh. I did it per directions, but, mm. yeah. Could have been stronger. I really like it, though. Oh, good. It might actually... It might be too hot still and need to cool down a little bit. Yeah, exactly. That because happens. I'm less tasting things and feeling my tongue burn. <laughs> so, give me a minute. <laughs> yes. And the one that I am having for the evening is Apple Roibus by the Elevation Company. And this one came in the Tea and Me blog advent today. So... This is mine. I'm starting to enjoy Roybus more than I did before. I used to not enjoy it, and now I'm starting to, so. And apple. Mm hmm Last year. Last year. It was, every tea had apple in it. And I was cranky. Yeah. <laughs> And this year I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I think the same is still a little too hot. I'd like it to cool down a little bit more. So, but it's, it's nice. I'm happy. But it's not a competition. But it's not a competition. No. <laughs> Does your tea win again? Of course. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so we are going to watch a movie tonight. What movie are we watching? Not sure yet. Oh, I thought we had one planned and ready to go. No, I'm going to play the Muppets and I'm going to have a nap. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, last year, I remember you had a, uh, a discussion about mince pies. Oh yes, we did. And 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 I had said gross because my grandmother always made mincemeat, but she put deer meat in it, which no thank you. Um <laughs> but apparently now it's much more common to make it there's no meat in it no, for okay. the most part. So I I would eat that. Don't so much want the venison. It's more like a right. fruit cake, is what my friends tell me. Yeah, but that is not what my grandmother made. So, <laughs> so when I hear mince meat, I don't think of something I want to eat. But a uh, but a mince pie, I would try it. Yes. Yeah. I bet it would pair well with this. Oh, yes. I don't think this would pair well with your queso chips. Oh, I think anything would. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, we will say good night. And uh, yeah, we'll chat with you in the comments down below. Until next time, take care. Bye. Bye. Good night. <laughs> good night. Phoebe's sleeping. She's exhausted from visitors. Yeah. She's found. Yeah.